This week's demonstration is brought to you in association with BusyMits.com, the online craft social network. Hi, my name's Kate Hemmings and I'm pleased to welcome you to the December issue of Quick and Crafty magazine. I'm joined by Corinne Brad, who's going to show us some of her favourite projects, plus give us a little sneaky demonstration too. Hi Corinne. Hello Kate, yes. Lovely issue again, Quick and Crafty have excelled themselves. First of all, you've got a great free gift on the front here. Now, Jill Elbless has made lots of cards and tags. It's like a blue, sparkly, glittery, I love the sparkle starry, at the moment. Ball, ball theme. I mean, there's some lovely motifs and you can make loads of stuff with it. I've got lots of glitter card at home, actually, and that would look good toned mm. with other glitter card. Um, another one that I really, really like are these cards by Tracy Dakin Jones. Lovely colours again. Yeah, now these are the new Penny Black stamps. The Christmas Fairy, she's really, really sweet. It's and so the, cute, the shopaholic. Aren't they? And you were saying that um, the way that Tracy lines the insides of her cards. I really like that. I think yeah. it's a nice finish to them. It is a lovely, you know, even the way that she's sort of. You've got a nice clean back there. It's nothing that you'd be ashamed to show anybody. And um, with papers, I mean, there's lots of downloadable papers now available. There's lots on our website along with te templates and projects. So, you know, you must have a look at them. But, you know, you can run off sheets of download paper and just, like, as long as it's not too dark a pattern, it's great for the inside great of the card, lining. isn't it? I also really like this project here. I like the colours of this one. It's very bright. Yes, now that's Cathy Shuttleworth. Now, you'll know Cathy for her beautiful paper sculptures mm. that she's done. And as I've said before, her fantastic pen work. Um, she's cut zigzag strips of paper here to make this candle and she's edged it with like a dimensional paint. Um, but she's also cut them with felt as well to tie in with it. I love that. It's really cute. I really do. <laughs> That's a real, you know, it's a real traditional motif in really nice funky colours and it's perfect for the Christmas decoration. And I love this really thick felt. The wreath there is beautiful. It's lovely. Now these projects are by Brenda Harvey, who's been as busy as a Christmas elf getting all these ready for us. Yeah. Um, I really like the jewellery. Look at those colours. Yeah. They're my yeah, favourite they turquoise. Fantastic. This is kind of cool here as well, what she's done with yeah, the felt well, beads. Yeah, well they're felted beads again. You know, I've said before, we could, you can buy them ready made or you can make them yourself. But she's cut these with a scalpel. So it's almost like a... Um, now, what's that painting of the peeled apple? I it's can't that help sort you of, there. Oh, anyway, it's that sort of effect, but they look really good. I love these big glass, almost like yeah, uh, marble things, aren't, aren't they? The cards are really nice as well. I like that there's a lot of projects around at the moment that aren't using traditional oh, colour schemes yeah. for Christmas. I think yeah. it's really refreshing to see a lot of the pink and the green and the blues. They look really nice. Well, this is it. I mean, I, I decorate my house in traditional red, green and gold because that's what I bought. But I do like to put little splodges of, of different colours. It's nice, I isn't say it? That, that turquoise blue is gorgeous. Looks really and it effective. does, I mean, to me, it is quite festive. It's like that sort of pine colour, isn't it? Mm. We've got a great feature in a Quick and Crafty this issue as well. We're all glammy it up, taking yes, inspiration yeah. from the high street, which we're really looking forward to. So, so I make imagine sure there's you lots check of glitter out. and glitz, and again, other colour schemes in there as well. Our favourite, we'll be looking out for that <laughs> one. Um, so what are you going to be demonstrating for us today, Corinne? Well, it's not a traditional Christmas project, but um, what I thought we'd do is, because Kakeshi dolls and Russian dolls and that are very, very popular again, I've made card with like a padded Kakeshi doll, 3D That's Kakeshi cute. doll here. Um, and fusible fibre, I mean, it's one of those things that people, or, you know, they've got it and they don't often use it. It's so easy to use. I mean, fusible fibre, if you've not come across it before, is like very, very fine strands of, of like the Angelina, the angel hair that you get for your Christmas trees. Um, what you do is you take a piece of A4 paper, fold it in half, get some of these strands, and pull them apart and scatter them on the paper, and then iron them with a cool iron, just literally for a couple of seconds. And when you peel the paper apart, you're left with a sheet of really quite strong... It looks like handmade paper, doesn't it? Yeah, with all the detailing yeah. and texture on well, it. Well, I mean, you can add colours together. I mean, I've got like a citron um, yellow and some sort of peach colour with that. Cool. So I'm going to show you how to make this card, and it's covered with this fusible fibre because it gives a really nice iridescence to it. Okay. So to start with, for the body of your Kakeshi, I've just cut a simple um, arch shape. And then I, what I've done is I've cut three pieces of self-adhesive felt um, in Russian doll sizes. Ah. <laughs> now, if you take the smallest piece first of all and lay this on the centre of your card, now self-adhesive felt is quite widely available, but you can get it from um, Baker Ross. They do a value pack of it. Um, you know, for, it's great for children's decorations. See, I thought you were going to stick those the other way around, starting with the biggest. Clearly, no, I'm missing no, a trick if here. If you do the smallest first, then you Is won't get funny the... ridges. Ah. So, if you do this, when you lay this over the top here, it will smooth the outline. Oh, I see, and that create that one. cushioned sort of effect. Yes. Very and clever, Corinne. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to rip that just then. So, line them up. So, you've now got the padding on your card. Okay. Nice and simple. Now I've put double-sided tape on the back of this. I've got fibres everywhere. That's a crafty hazard, I think. It it's is like a crafty playing hazard. With <laughs> I'm always playing with glitter. <laughs> Take a piece of, of um, fused sheet and then just cut roughly around the outside of it. Let's cut the curve here. 
And then if you peel away your double-sided tape, I'm so glad I've got fingernails today, it really does help. No, it doesn't. She says, <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> it does look very fiddly. Oh, I recommend that you buy some stuff called Easy Lift Tape. Okay. Which is... It does what it says on the it tin. It does what it says <laughs> on the tin, yeah, because what happens is that the um, backing sheet is just a millimetre longer than the adhesive sheet. So it means you've actually got a little flap that you can get your fingernail oh. under really, really easily. But I didn't have any. Okay. So, so if you just stick this up like this, you will need to mitre your corners slightly. Okay. On here. Just so it folds up. And then just fold it in. And then as you're... If you fold in like this, and then on the curves, you can literally, because it doesn't matter about the back, you won't see the back. So you can kind of gather down. it. You can gather it like this. Okay. Let's just cut that excess bit off because that's going to get in the way. So there you've got your ah. body shape. And if you choose the colour of felt underneath it to complement the colour of the fusible fibre, because you will see that colour through the holes in it. Now, to make the ribbon on here, the binding of the dress as it were, Get some very thin tape. Okay. I'm assuming this is double sided. This as is well. double sided tape again, yeah. And you can bend it. You'll find it quite difficult to bend with the backing paper on. Once you've taken the backing paper off, the tape will, will sort of mould itself. Okay. This looks okay. even fiddlier than the other one. It is because it's a smaller piece of tape. There you go. And then just take a length of ribbon. Thin. Oh, Place I see. And just like mould it into the shape. Cut it down and just secure it at the back. I won't put the second neck piece on. But then that, you know, you'd stick that then on the card. And then to make the head and face, all I've done is I've simply drawn around a, a scotch roll tape. Um, this is going to be her face, which is the centre ring. And then if you, I don't know if you can see on here, I've drawn a straight line across, which will be the bottom of the hair. And then I, I've drawn around where the face goes. So if you just very carefully... That is very resourceful of you, I like it. Very Blue Peter style. I've got lots of different rolls of tape which have got all, <laughs> you know, various lengths of tape taken off them because I find it much quicker than using a compass. And that's a really good tip, actually, because <laughs> it's always hard to get a perfect circle. I'll tell you what, I, um, the number of things that I draw around, bowls and cups... and Marker glasses, pens as well. Yes, marker good. pens. What is good, actually, is if you, if you do need to do circles and you need to do them quickly, if you put a glass bowl down and a bit of card, you can literally go around the outside with a scalpel just and then you don't get any of that break mm. where you've cut it. Anyway, that's another tip for another day. <laughs> Let's just cut the head out of this. Got a very steady hand there, Corinne. Well, it's necessity, Kate. <laughs> okay, okay, so there's your hair cut. The other thing, just to do the fringe, is if you just cut a little snip. snip out of there. Hmm. It's, it's little details like that that make to the finish difference. finish it off. Um, if you've stuck your face down here, what you will then do is you'll put the hair on oh. with some double-sided foam pads. And the other thing is I've actually decorated the dress, the, the surface of the kimono, with some little stick-on, well, they're actually iron-on, heart-shaped um, metallic gems like these. These are from Josie Rose. They're gorgeous. They it's got are really, really, really nice sweet. nice metallic sheen on them. So you just pop the hair on the top like this, and then you add the features with a fine pen. So when you've finished... It looks like that. result like that. These have just been punched out with a hole punch, simple hole punch. Yeah, a couple well, of Well, thanks for that cards. demonstration, Corinne. That was great. That's what we've got time for here today, but do come along to www.quickandcrafty.com for all the latest competitions and free downloads. Until next time, happy crafting.